as I told you last time, mm -hmm. when I was traveling the world yes. with the late President Moi, it was a conducted tour. Uh, we had all this Moi teaching and referral, Moi high school, Moi university. Moi. What was that all about? In Kenya, everything appears to be chaotic mm. in most cases here. Mm -hmm. Uhuru, I don't know, was it out of ignorance or did not get good advice? Mm. Cleanliness, order, obeying the law. Mm. You want to know whether you salute so that you do not talk ill of Raila Ondinga. Okay. Don't appoint days to plant trees. Tell the people to plant every every time. Right. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Uh, my name is Tony Shira from TCTV1 USA. Or you may call me Tony Shira from the Tony Shira Show. And I am in Oregon. We had so much that we had to talk about. We couldn't cover everything. So we sought to have another session with him. He is a pot of wisdom, a walking, talking encyclopedia. Thank you so very much for granting us this opportunity. Thank you very much. One more time follow-up interview. Help me welcome the legendary Lin Jiro. Sir. Thank you very much for Karibu having me. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Karibu Thank sana. you. It is now for me to welcome you to Oregon because you have come all the way from Seattle. All the way from Seattle to Oregon. Yes, you found me here, so I welcome you. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. So tell me, you've been uh, touring the west of the U.S. Yes. How has it been? It has been an eye-opener. Mm. It was a terrific, wonderful mm. trip. Mm -hmm. Although it has been a roller coaster okay. of a tour. Okay. Uh, in that uh, I have visited many places at right. short notices. Mm -hmm. I have been here in Oregon, mm -hmm. I have been to California, mm -hmm. I have been to Las Vegas, oh. I have been to Phoenix, wow. I have been to Idaho, okay. Boise, visiting small towns like Pendleton, okay. Baker, I have been to Eugene City. So I have visited some farms, you know, to see how they rear sheep and other livestock. So it has been a, a roller coaster. Right now I'm Over getting trip. envious. I'm yes. getting envious of you. <laughs> yes. And uh, it is an eye opener. As I told you last time, mm -hmm. when I was traveling the world yes. with the late President Moy, mm -hmm. it was a conducted tour. Yes. And may I repeat that when you travel mm -hmm. in a presidential entourage, mm -hmm. you see what the host government Mm -hmm. want you to see correct but now i have traveled on my own seeing what i've you been want going to see. by road sometimes for eight hours i've been flying across these states mm -hmm. and i have been uh, traveling with my eyes open great is there something that you've picked up that stood out that you would want to take back home from your trip a lot mm. but our communities, by and large, mm. apparently, they are impervious to change. Okay. They are very difficult people. Mm -hmm. I have seen there is a lot of order here, mm -hmm. cleanliness, mm -hmm. courtesy. Right. And here you do not play with the public spaces, okay. special areas of recreation. Mm -hmm. If you try to touch public land here, mm -hmm or to touch a tree without permission, mm -hmm. the government will come down on you. Right. Like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Correct. Yes. And uh, people are good mannered. Right. In Kenya, everything appears to be chaotic mm -hmm. in most cases here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Cleanliness, mm -hmm. order, mm -hmm. obeying the law. Mm -hmm. And um, simple housing. Right. Simple, simple housing. And almost yeah. every house looks more or less like the same. And most of the housing, because I've seen houses in, uh, in Boise, 
uh, in Idaho, yeah. houses here, houses in Las Vegas, yeah. houses uh, in Arizona, mm -hmm. they are almost the same. Yeah. Simple, yes. but elegant. Right. There is order mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. But once you come out, mm -hmm. you find very good roads, mm -hmm. very good parks. Mm -hmm. Everything looks orderly. Right. But in Kenya, they build uh, monuments, mm. uh, like uh, palaces, which will la later go to, to waste. Right. They are very waste for people, even right. in terms of a building. Okay. Here, they build for utility. Mm. But in Kenya, they appear to build for, sure. to, for public show, mm. to exhibit financial muscle, right. and to intimidate <laughs> the neighborhood. <laughs> the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you find That's somebody who does not even know how to swim, yeah, right. but a very big swimming pool. Mm -hmm. What for? Uh, what for? Right. You find somebody with the two children uh -huh. building a house. Uh, a seven bedroom. Seven, even the tiny bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Very wasteful. wasteful. Instead of building in the cities, so in order to help, to ease yeah. the housing uh, shortage. Right. Yes. So from here, do, uh, what other country are you planning to visit now that you've visited the U.S., the west of the U.S.? Where next? Yes, next time, it would be after about um, two years, mm -hmm. I would like to visit uh, Mexico. Okay. Yeah, Mexico, those countries, um, uh, Latin America. Okay. Yeah, because um, I have visited, Ag uh, not Argentina, Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, in the 1990s, okay. during the Earth Summit. Mm -hmm. I stayed in Rio de Janeiro for two weeks. Okay. And... Um, I would like also to visit Mexico. Someone in South Africa said that you should visit them as well. Where? In, so in, in Johannesburg. Jo I have been to Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. I have been to Johannesburg. Mm. Um, of course, um, Pretoria. Mm -hmm. I've been to George. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been to South Africa. Yeah, I think they're just missing to have a conversation with you, just like we had this great opportunity. Yes, to. yes, I, I can also go to South Africa on my own. Right. I have never been there on my own. Right. So uh, let's talk about uh, your work with the president, the late president, Moi. Yes. Uh, we had all this Moi teaching and referral, Moi high school, Moi university. Moi. What was that all about? The Kenyan people yeah. have a problem with such um, nomenclature. Mm -hmm. But it's predicated upon racial, tribal, ethnic bigotry. Mm -hmm. Why do people want to have a problem with Moi teaching and River Hospital? Yeah. And they have no problem with Lake Victoria mm -hmm. being named after a British queen. Right. Why do they have a problem with Kamusu Banda uh, School of Medical Sciences? Mm -hmm. Why do, don't they have a problem with the Julius Nyerere International Airport mm -hmm. in Dar es Salaam? Mm -hmm. Why don't they have a problem with the Felix Hoover Bonnier Hospital, right. no, International Airport in Abidjan? Uh -huh. Why don't they have a problem with the Kamusu, uh, with the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport in Lusaka. Mm. Why did they have a problem with the Kenyatta Hospital when it was being, when it was called the New George Hospital? It, it Why did they have a problem with Moi Airport Mombasa and they do not have a problem with the Kenyatta, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport? It is a ratio of being country. Okay. They have a problem. They have never questioned. You see, uh, Mr. Chira, mm -hmm. my friend. Mm -hmm. Look at Nairobi. Mm -hmm. People sometimes have a problem with the Moy Avenue. Yes. And they do not know that even there are st streets in Nairobi which are named after bus and drivers. Yes. Really? Go to Eastleigh. There is a road called Kipanga Adumani Road. Uh -huh. Kipanga Adumani was a bus and driver. Oh, okay. But later, he became a comedian. <laughs> That's interesting. And there's a, a, a street named after Kibanga Adumani. I am the one who suggested that that road be, be called Kibanga Adumani. 
because mm. when he died in November 1982, where he was staying, along a street called Wood Avenue, mm -hmm. I told the then town clerk, S.J. Getonga, to name it Kibanga Abumani, and he agreed. Why, why, did you choose, why did you choose him? And because uh, he was staying there, and he was, very, he was a very popular comedian. Okay. And then, there are, uh, there are roads in Nairobi named after chiefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Senior uh, Koinange, Koi, 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 Koinange. Yeah. yeah. Right. Koinange Street. Right. It is not the name of the Mbio Koinange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's Chief Koinange. Right. And then you have got uh, even a Kombo Munyere. Yes. Kombo Munyere Road. Yeah. Yeah. Kombo Munyere was a chief. Yeah. Do you know? I, I know. I know. I know that. Yes. At least I know that much. From your place. <laughs> From, yes. Yes. Kombo Munyere. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you have a problem with a street called after a chief, uh -huh. and then a hospital which Moy helped to build okay. and went to look for money in mm. China. Mm. Then you have a problem naming that. Yes. Let me go further. Mm -hmm. Even if people had a problem with that hospital, it's because it is in the Kalajin area. It is racial pinko tree, but they do not know that it is serving the whole of Northern Kenya from Londua. Right, right. Londua to Nairobi is over 600 kilometers. Right. Imagine somebody coming from Londua to Nairobi instead of coming only 300 kilometers to, 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 to Mwai, elaborate. Mwai Eldoret, yes, yeah. it is serving the Luya community. Mm -hmm. The whole of Kitale. The whole of Kitale, yeah. the whole of Mount Yeah. Yeah, it's a racial, tribal, ethnic bigotry. I got you. Yes. I got you. Look, we are now in America. Mm -hmm. Why is it called America? It is that Italian explorer, Amerigo Vespucci. Yeah. That's why it's called America. It's Did America. you know that? Amerigo Vespucci. Then you, you have got a river here called River Hudson. Yes. Yeah. Th that is an explorer. Yes. Yeah. Called Henry Hudson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. British. Right. Yeah. I then you. you've got even Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a captain in the in the navy. Right. Yes, Captain okay. George Hoover. Okay. Yeah, and then you have uh, J. F. Kennedy International Airport. Yes. yes. And then you got Hoover Dam, named right. after after President Herbert Hoover. I get okay? you. I get you. Even a minister mm -hmm. got a whole international airport, John John Foster Dallas. Yeah. Okay. Dallas Airport. Okay. International airport in Washington. Right. Yeah. But then. Moi, a whole president, when there's a hospital named after him, right. people want to raise hell. Now, talking about the same, mm. uh, we had the uh, 10th of October as Moi Day. Yes. And uh, at some point, I think after the 2012-2010 constitution, mm -hmm. uh, there was a proposal to change it to now it's called Utamaduni Day. Yes. And uh, I heard other people Huduma say that it, should be, it should be Huduma Day. Yes. W what do you think about that? Does it also draw a problem from the nomenclature that you just talked about? Um, during the clamor for multipartism, mm. everything more he did was demonized because of the same problem of racial bigotry. Mm. That is why Kenyatta Day was removed, Moi Day was removed. Mm. But you know, later, uh, before he retired, mm -hmm. Moi declared that Moi Day, there should be no holiday as such. It should be a day of people to help each other. Right. Yes. Actually, it should be Huduma Day, where mm -hmm. people should uh, be mindful of, of other, other people's welfare. welfare and and, that, and that is something other. that you used to say a lot of times. Yes. Being mindful of, Being mindful of welfare. the welfare of others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't think the nomenclature or the wiping out or the problem that people had with the naming of things about or around Moi has to do with now the removal of the Moi day as, 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 as the title for that day. I'm, I'm just trying to confirm the, whether you don't think the removal of Moi day or the changing of Moi day into uh, Huduma day or Utamaduni day yes. had anything to do with what you said earlier. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was part of that scheme. Okay. It was part of the, that scheme, yeah. It was a question of uh, uh, cutting the, the nose to sp spite the face, yeah.
Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that, that's a good one. Yes. That's a good one. Mm. Now there's widespread talk about uh, cultural erosion all yes. around the country yes. and uh, around the world, especially in the advent of uh, internet and the world becoming a smaller village. And you've been around, you've seen Kenya transform from what it was and into what it is now. Uh, what do you think we should safeguard? There is a serious collapse yes. of African cultural and the traditional norms and the values mm. under the impact of Western cultures. Mm. Um, the values which used to guide our societies. Right. The values which used to guide different generations. Mm -hmm different age groups, the food, the behavior, the relationships between women and the men, children and the parents, the young and the old, all those values have collapsed. Mm. And what worries me most mm -hmm. is that proverbs have been swept aside. Okay. Nobody teaches our children proverbs. Mm -hmm. And you know, Shira, mm -hmm. proverbs were an distillation okay. of a community's wisdom, right. experiences. Mm -hmm. They were advisory, mm -hmm. cautionary, Okay. They used to guide people through social pitfalls. Okay. And you know, they were short in most cases. Right, yeah. Very precise. Poetic, rhythmic, mm. poor ignorant, no pain, no gain. A stitch in time saves nine. Look before you leap. Mm. You don't regret when going, you regret when coming back. Mm. When you go to shave others, you don't come back shaven. All right. There is no positive reward for arrogance. You know, all proverbs mm -hmm. in the world right. are the same. Mm -hmm. Only minor variations because of the differences in experiences right. and the surroundings. Right. Like in the Bible, they say it is easier for a camel to go through the, the eye of a needle. Yeah. But if there were elephants <laughs> in Palestine, <laughs> okay. they could have used the, the elephant. The elephant. That makes sense. Yeah, but, but that was the biggest animal there. Yes. You see? So proverbs <laughs> are the same. There are no yeah. Kikuyu, pro Kikuyu proverbs, European proverbs, Japanese proverbs are the same. Right. Just minor variations. Okay. Yeah. Because of the differences in the material culture, there was no literature. Mm. Right. Wisdom was passed down generations, right. orally. So it had to be packaged mm. in such a manner so that the, because of the ease of remembrance. Right. Yeah? Right. And it had to be made sweet. And, and, and precise and short. And precise and short and, nice. and poignant. Makes sense. Yes. Makes sense. Because you see now, because there was no literature, Right. But now, ask any child to tell you about the three, three proverbs. They don't. So they just move around like a handless chicken. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about food. Mm -hmm. uh, as we erode uh, some of those important cultural elements, also foods are getting eroded. Yes. Um, what, what, what's your diet like and what would you recommend and what do you think... Uh, stands at the greatest risk that yes. people should not lose. Whenever I go to to see a doctor, mm. most of them tell you, eat what your grandmother was eating. Right. Arrow roots, uh, sweet potatoes, mm. vegetables, mm. and in moderation. 
Right. At my age, I've been watching Mata's food very closely. Okay. The strongest people mm. do not call, do not eat what is generally thought to be good food. Right. Look at the bo boxers all over the world. Mm -hmm. They lived in the ghettos. You are not eating the kind of food uh, rich people eat. Okay. Bohama and Ali, uh -huh. Joe Fresia, uh -huh. Mike Tyson, right. George Foreman, right. even Kenya. People that come from the ghettos, like right. Robert Wangila, yes. John Olulu, yeah. Steve Mochoki, yeah. like Bilali. Right. They eat kichwa, yambuzi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now go to the building sites. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. The people who are doing koroga yes. and building, heaving up heavy stones. Right. Uji. Uji. Gideri. Gideri. Mandondo. Mandondo. Kangu. Some they call it ngumu. Yes. They don't eat the if uh, they Mac, Mac, McDonald's and Mac uh, Donald's, KFC. KFC. Tell a boy from Mudaika. Or a boy from Kiuna. To go to a construction or site. Or from uh, Lavington. Tell them to visit this, this man. One blow. <laughs> they will be knocked out. So, whatever you eat, mm -hmm. they must do manual labor. Yeah. Manual labor is also good for the body. Right. Those people are very strong. And you are very strong yourself. I mean, the mm -hmm. times that I've shaken your hand, I've, I, and, and I can also see it. Yes. You know, you're a very strong man. I eat bananas, uh -huh. mm -hmm. right? Potatoes. Okay. I don't go for <laughs> those kind of food. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone said that uh, the late President Moi used to like uh, maindi choma, like uh, every after work. Yeah, uh, but but then there was um, a misconception, mm. and the people had uh, sent out false information mm. that he was not a meat eater. Oh, okay. The centrality of moist food mm. was meat okay. in the morning, lunch time, and the evening. Really? And we, we, won, we did not buy meat. We used to slaughter every day. Okay. Yeah, merino, sheep. Okay. Doba. Right. What was variable was the accompaniment. Meat was constant. Meat must be there. <laughs> and he was a very strong man because he used to walk a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. He used to work very hard and also used to do exercises. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to eat meat and exercise? Eat meat mm -hmm. and exercise. Right. The master eat meat, but they walk they from, walk they, the they walk from Kajuano to Nairobi. With their cows? Yes. Right. Yes. The problem is you eat meat and sleep. You eat and sleep. You eat and sleep. Listeners. Yeah. yeah what do they say? Uh, you either work or you become rusty. Right. Let's move on to a global subject that has been um, on the mouths of everybody. And just recently we had the climate uh, uh, conference in Kenya. Uh, what are your views on the climate change? Because I, I'm drawing this from when Moi began and he was very, very serious about uh, building gabions on cell erosion and afforestation. And then I don't know what happened. Somehow Kenya fell below the basic uh, minimum requirements in terms of forest cover. And now yeah. climate change all over the world, but Kenya now struggling to come back yes. to where it was. Yeah, um, the president, uh, Honorable. William Bruto is now very serious about conservation of forests. Yes. He is now walking the talk. Mm. I have been around this area, America, for some time now. Mm. I've seen how serious they are uh, about their trees, mm. about their forests. Mm. I think that should be emulated. Mm. Um, there is a lot of corruption in the forest service. Mm -hmm. You'll find that within the fringes, 
-hmm. the forest look okay. Mm. But if you fly by helicopter, inside. They, they are being destroyed from inside. Mm. And again, there is not sufficient education okay. about conservation. Right. In 1990s, I had an issue with a chief from Embu. Mm. Because during a meeting, during a Harambe, which I was conducting, mm -hmm. he told the people that the government was against destruction of forests. Mm -hmm. That was a wrong message. It is not the government. It is us who should conserve forests for our benefit, okay. for the benefit of the country, mm -hmm. the benefit of society, for mm -hmm. the benefit of everybody. Mm -hmm. When you say the government is against, what does that mean? You can cut when the government is not There's watching. not watching. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The myth should be our survival mm. demands that, that we, we conserve our forests, yeah. that we plant trees every day. And then this idea of having days to plant trees, mm. it should be a continuous process. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. Don't appoint days to plant trees. Mm. Tell the people to plant every, every time. Right. Yeah. Right. Whenever it rains, just plant. Mm -hmm. Don't say we shall plant on this date. Right. Tell people, when it starts raining, plant every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. You know, you've traveled around the world and um, there's all this um, identification that goes with seeing someone and saying this one is a Kenyan. Mm. Or someone does something and you say that one is a Ugandan. Or mm. say, do Kenyans even have an identity? Mm. Kenya is a patchwork of many communities because, you see, if you are in a public place, let's say in a restaurant in Nairobi. Right. And somebody tells you, my name is Abdallah. Mm. And, the, and the man is pitch black. First of all, you ask him from where? Mm -hmm. Say, I'm a Kenyan. Right. Because you see, you want to know whether he's a Luo so that you do not talk ill of Raila Odinga. Okay. Because he will, might kill you. <laughs> you want to know whether you're Sakamba, so that you do not talk ill of Kaloza Musioka. <laughs> you want to know whether you're Kalejil, so right. that you do not talk ill uh, uh, yeah, of, of William Ruto, really, yes. the president. Yes. So, there's nobody called Kenya. Okay. We cannot have a common identity. Hmm. Because we have not even agreed among ourselves. On what defines us. Yes. That is why I talked to Ruto, to William Ruto, the president, mm -hmm. when he was deputy president. I went to see him. Okay. And we had a long discussion okay. about the, our different communities mm -hmm. and how we should approach them. Okay. Because we are not one. Right. Like now, talks between the Kenya Kwanzaa and the Azimio. Mm -hmm. I am surprised that what should form part of the agenda is missing. Mm -hmm. Which, what is that? Making communities happy. Mm -hmm. Listen, Luos are about 5 million people, mm -hmm. slightly over 5 million people. Mm -hmm. That is equal to the population of Finland. Mm. It is equal to the population of Norway. Mm -hmm. It is equal to the population of Denmark. Right. So now, how can you make five million people unhappy? Mm. The Embu people, mm -hmm. Embu County, mm -hmm. slightly over 600,000 people. Mm -hmm. That was almost twice the population of the Republic of Iceland. Okay. Kakameka County itself, mm -hmm. Kakameka County, mm -hmm. not the Luyas, just Kakameka, Kakameka County yes. is 1.8 million people. 
Mm. That is more than the Republic of Estonia, which is 1.3. <laughs> just that county alone. Yeah, just one county alone. Right. So if you don't make Kakamega County people happy, yes. you're, you're, it's tantamount to making an entire country of Estonia yes. unhappy. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. You see, whenever we went to meet 1980s, mm -hmm. the great leader of China, mm -hmm. Deng Xiaoping, mm -hmm. he had no formal employment. He was right. called great leader. Mm. He was called chairman of the military commission, mm. but then he was respected for his wisdom. He is the one who came with this saying, together with the, the proud minister of Malaysia, mm. uh, Mahathir Mohamed. Mm. One size does not fit all. We should talk mm. as communities. Kiku is about 80 million. Mm. That is um, uh, um, almost three times the size of the Republic of Uruguay. Mm. We should create our own structures, political structures, mm -hmm. which if it's, uh, because you know, China, mm -hmm. they used to say this. Mm -hmm. We shall have democracy. Right. Chinese democracy mm -hmm. with the Chinese characteristics. Right. Because a country like China, they have got three hundred communities, different languages. Right. You cannot run that country like you run, uh, let's say, Rwanda mm. or Seychelles mm -hmm. or Djibouti. Right. It's too big because if 1.3 billion people, if they are unhappy or they bring problems, how do you govern You them? can't contain them. You can't contain them. Even in Kenya, we should actually structure our own political system. Mm. Yeah. Which, is, you see, why President Uhuru Kenyatta, mm. why people could not listen to him when he was campaigning for Raila? Mm -hmm. It's because Uhuru, I don't know, was it out of ignorance or did not get good advice? Mm. He neglected certain communities. Right. Like Embu, mm. they were vowing that they would teach him a lesson. Right. During the time of Jomo Kenyatta, Embu people were happy. Mm. We had Jeremy Anyaga as a minister. Right. Kamwidi Muni as, as a minister. Right. We had Bua Waganagwa. Right. As a, as a, as a, as a DO. Yeah. Yeah. We had Debe Dinamo. Right. Yeah. People were in the government. When Imoi came in, mm -hmm. We had Kamuidi Munya as a minister. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. We had Bua Wakanagwa as mm -hmm. a provincial commissioner. Mm -hmm. And others. Embu right. people happy. David Dinamo as permanent secretary. Right. Embu people were happy. Right. When, uh, when Kibake came, he gave us more. General Drake was a minister. Mm -hmm. When Uhuru came, there was no minister. There was no permanent secretary. <laughs> he, he, came with a, out. he came with a power suit. <laughs> <laughs> eh? <laughs> in um, in the Raka mm. during the Jomo Kenyatta time, mm. there was a general, James in general, get Yes. As a minister for defense. Right. When Moi came in, there was Kaguyama. Yes. Francis Kaguyama. Mm -hmm. When Kibaka came in, there was a uh, 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 Boni Moiro. Mm. Oh. When Uhuru came, there was nobody. Because he, he didn't know that communities have to be happy or they will teach you a lesson. Right. Yeah. So, so now following on the same uh, thought, when you went to speak to the, deputy, uh, to the president now, yes. um, what, what did you say to him? And do you think he has done that or is he doing anything I, about I, it? I, I, I told him, Uhuru Kenyatta and yourself mm. as the deputy president, mm. you have committed a crime against right. the Embu people. Okay. Because there's nobody in the government. Mm. During the Quebec government, General Drake was the minister. Mm. We had Cyrus in Jiro yes. as a permanent secretary for transport and communications. Mm. Yeah, we had uh, even uh, an ambassador in Kakumu mm. uh, in the Congo. Yes, we even he even have, we had a permanent secretary in internal security. Right. Yeah, get mm -hmm. But the whole Kenyatta's government, do you know what the Ruto told me? Mm -hmm. 
we have seen the karaoke. I told her no. I said, Minister, that one is married in Yandaro. Yeah. And they, you know what he told me? Mm -hmm. uh, we are killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> I told him that is wrong. Right. Saying, eh, she is a muembu. She is the, she is a, mu, a muembu. So embu people should be happy and also kikuyus. Right. So don't, don't try to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> yeah. So kill kill one bird with one stone. Right. Uh, no two birds with one. Right. But now you 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 you're trying. Yeah. Look at my during most time. Mm. We the, the, the coast province. We had the, the, the Pokomo. Mm. Uh, we had the various Kidwa yes. as the head of civil service. Yes. Even the Taita. Mm. We had even uh, ambassadors. A lady called uh, uh, Esther uh, Esther Tolle. Right. Yeah. Right. Even we had uh, the Borana. Mm. Yeah. We had uh, army commander. Right. Yeah. Adil so Abdullahi. spreading happiness all out yeah. to the communities. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Spreading happiness. Right. Everywhere. That is great. If you forget a community, mm -hmm. um, look, if six gunmen mm -hmm. from that community, you know, can kill 146 students in Nicaragua University, right. only six yes. gunmen. Yes. And they cause havoc in two city hotel. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, that, uh, that uh, supermarket in Westland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Westgate. Yeah, Westgate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are only about six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about f five million people if they are annoyed? Right. Yeah. So the agenda should be how do we make communities happy? I don't know how they will do it, but communities have to be happy mm -hmm. if Kenya has to be happy. Now, talking about communities, I'll, I'll come back to ask you about your involvement in uh, Embu politics now that you know you talked about uh, having spoken it, to uh, yes. the president about about that mm. but before we do that um, the country ahead of the 2010 constitution uh, split into 47 counties mm -hmm. out of the eight provinces that we knew all in the name of representation and probably as a way to try and spread that happiness do you think that was a positive move and is it working um it's positive. Mm. I have traveled quite a lot. Mm. There is a, a lot of um, improvement mm. in the welfare of the people, okay. in infrastructure, mm. across. Mm. But of course there's a downside. There's a lot of corruption. Okay. But I do not support the idea mm. of making provinces uh, to be, well, um, to replace the, 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 counties? the counties. Okay. No. Okay. You know why? Mm -hmm. Eastern province has got over 10 tribes. Right. Eastern province, you have got the Embu, mm. the Kamba, right. the Daraka, mm. the Chuka. Mm. The Waimenti, mm. the Muimbi, mm. the Mudambi, mm. the Tiganio, mm. the Igembe, mm. God Borana, mm. God Buruji, mm. Rendire, mm. Sakuye, Gabra, mm. Bere, mm. Dachinach. <laughs> Some of them. How do you put these people together? Mm. Even when they were, they, when it was a province, we right. had a problem. Because you see, people on, in the north, like right. the, the Borana, mm -hmm. the Gabra, uh, the Rendile, mm. the Buruji, up to now they believe they are not part of that province. Because right. they are Cushetic. Yes. In fact, they feel they are closer to Ethiopia. Okay. Than they or, are. Or, 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 yeah, or to the Mediterranean region. Right. Yeah, because of the color of their skin. Correct. And the, and hair. the, and the, uh, yes. the texture of so their hair. It should remain the way it is, but tighten, you know, the, the loopholes. Okay. Yeah. Especially of corruption. corruption. Yeah, yeah. Right. corruption. Right. Because, you know, b because of the community, even the Luya, 
Mm. There is no way you can put them together. Mm. Because the Luyas mm. are 18 communities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the Bukusu and the Maragut, they don't see eye to eye. Right. Yeah. Right. So would you think uh, in terms of the unity of Kenyans, in terms of peace, uh, when you think about the whole sum um, word unity of the country Kenya, is it better now than when it, when, than when it was in the Moi time? Um, no. Mm. We are more divided. We are more divided? Yeah, uh, because we do not even know each other. You know, during Moi time, mm. we would go for a Harambe mm. in Mbusia. Right. Moi would take almost all members of parliament mm -hmm. and the ministers mm -hmm. to go for that Harambe. Right. So that the MP of Mbere South mm. and a chance of knowing Buthia. Right. The MP for Kaloleni, mm. the Kosi province, mm -hmm. would know Buthia. Right. When you go to Mayale, mm -hmm. there were planes, Air Force planes, to take people there. Right. So that a Maasai member of parliament go to Mayale. Right. Now tell me. The, an MP in Lamu mm. will die before knowing where Laisamis is. Yes. An MP from Runyenges right. might die without going to Mufangano. Right. <laughs> or without going to Ndiwa. Yes. Now people have gone and drift. Right. They do not know each other. Mm. There were songs. Mm. But the people thought they were to praise more. Yes. But again, they were bringing people together. Mm. Kenya in Chietu. Mm. Kenya in Chiango. Okay. Kenya to Jifunia, Kenya. Oh, so that there no. was a vibe shared. Yeah, there was a vibe the country. shared. Right. Yes. I, I, get, I, get that. I get what that means, actually. Yes. Yeah, it is well, no longer there. Those patriotic songs are no longer encouraged. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, I'm, I've, I'm just thinking about what you've just said. When people sang Kenya in Chiangu, and you sang about this from Bere, another one sang about it from Ludwa, another yes. one sang about it from Kwale. Yes. They all sang Kenya in Chiangu. Yes. So they, they felt that patriotism, the sense of belonging. And yeah, there was, a, there was a sense of belonging. Right. It's, it's no longer there. It's no longer there. It's no longer there. You yeah, see? you see, like now, let me talk about Embu. Mm. Even my governor, mm. Cecil Mbalire, mm. for example, mm. employs a driver mm. with a kissy. Mm. She will have problems. Right, yeah. Why, why do you employ somebody from Kisi? And there is someone here who does have a here, job. Did Kisi come here to vote for you? <laughs> right. She cannot employ a to be her driver. Mm. She cannot employ a Turkana to be her, uh, her messenger. Right. Yeah. So following on the same thought, let me ask you, uh, delocalization. When we were growing up, we had teachers from all over. We had a teacher from Western province. We had a teacher from um, Kiambu. Yes. Some who did not even speak our mother tongue. Yes. And, and I can tell you, for me, that is how I learned language because yes the only way to communicate with this teacher was i was taught by teachers who, who, who came from uh, who came from kikuyu yeah kikuyu so yeah, taught me even from meru yes uh, kina kiraive. yes yeah eric kiraive from meru right yeah and mm -hmm. now and uh, now i understand also Ruth from meru uh -huh. yeah from yeah yeah, yeah. And, and now there is a problem people feel like uh, delocalization is not a good thing people feel that they should work close to where they come from. What do you think about that for the teachers? Yeah. Uh, you see, um, I was chairman of a school. Mm -hmm. Moi High School Birure. Okay. I found out that some of the local teachers, mm. before they came to school, they had to open their shops in Runyanges. Okay. And when they come to school, we are in Gambut. Do you know what I did? Mm -hmm. I talked to 
the leader of SPLM, John, John Garang. Okay. I told him, get me a dinka. He got me a dinka called the Dilis Corpus. Okay. It transformed this from number 110. It became, I think, number 20 in Kenya. Okay. And from that time, it has been be an upward movement. Right. And Dinka. So sometimes you, because of politics, mm -hmm. you want to have a local teacher there mm -hmm. so that he can campaign for you. Right. Mm -hmm. You talked about uh, Jeremy Nyaga, and uh, now that uh, you were there in the time that he was minister, yes. uh, what's your involvement with uh, Embu politics? Yes, first of all, I had an axe to grind with Jeremy Nyaga. Okay. You come from Bere. Yes, I do. I come from Embu. Mm -hmm. The Embu people are more than the Bere people, mm -hmm. population-wise. Right. So what Nyaga did when he was a minister and mm -hmm. chairman of Kanu, mm -hmm. he made sure that he remained the chairman of Kanu that he could not be beaten by somebody from my Do you know what he did? Mm -hmm. Instead of rigging elections, mm -hmm. he rigged the, st the political structure. How is that? That sounds complex. He created two constituencies okay. for the better people, Gachoka and Chicago. Okay. Embu people he made sure they got only one constituency, Embu North. Okay. And he was assisted by his friend called James Nyamwea, who was the chairman of the Boundaries Review Commission. Okay. From Kisi, who was also a minister. Mm -hmm. Now, this is how he rigged the structure. <laughs> so interesting to listen. Because to. every constituency, mm -hmm had to be represented by 100 delegates mm -hmm. during the Kanu elections. Okay. So automatically, Mbere had 200. Two, okay. 200. <laughs> that's, that's clever. Yes. So, okay. I was very annoyed. And you know, boundaries had to be reviewed every 10 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it had to remain there for 10 years. <laughs> and even if you have election for another 10 years, the same. Right. So I told him, boy, this is unfair. Okay. When I was director of presidential press service, right. he told me, what do we do? I told him, let's do this. Let us, let us nominate mm -hmm. a member of parliament from Embu and make him an assistant minister. Okay. So that Nyaka is a minister from Mbere and the Embu people have got two assistant ministers. Because Kamuidi Muni remained as an minister. Right. But he could not be chairman of Kanu. Because Yaga directed the structure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the so delegates that, always. Always, you know, yeah. 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 Because the structure is rigged. Okay. Gerrymandering. Okay. <laughs> so that is how we got two assembly ministers. So Moy told me, bring a person, you know, I can nominate him. Okay. So I brought a friend of mine called uh, Barari Karinge. I, I, Formerly, I, I, uh, he was um, a diplomat in China. Barare Karingi was the chairman of our school. I went to Kianjokoma Mixed Boarding when uh -huh. it began. I was among the first ones who did the exam there, and Barare Karingi was our yes. chairman of our board. Yes. He used to he drive was a an Volvo. Minister for Commerce. Yes. Yes. So, right. Muse asked me, which is the best ministry? I told him, Commerce and Industry. You know why? Because I wanted him to help me get some license to import a few things and make some money. Okay. Yeah. But when he got there, he did not help me. <laughs> 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 Is it the proverbial uh, toad, the frog? Yes, you yes. Take it across the... Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but, but you see, again, uh, you do not insult a crocodile yes. uh, before you cross the river. Correct. Uh, yeah, so I had also my way over here. You seem to have had a very, very close, cordial relationship with the late President Moy. Yes. I mean, that you would have these kinds of conversations. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you see, I was his press officer for 42 years. Mm. Yeah. So it was not an, an abrupt thing. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was a long journey. Right, yeah. long time. Yeah. So I, we became friends. We, we could talk about any subject. Yes. Any, any, any subject, yeah. Right. Any subject, yeah. I became like his son. Right. And he protected me. Because People have even lot. said you are his son. I cannot be. <laughs> <laughs> because I was 1949. Right. And you know, people th think that uh, Moy is uh, Moy who um, employed me. No. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You I joined the presidential press. Uh, Jomo uh, Jomo style. Kenyatta. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. Moy found me there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know, you know, you know, people, mm. uh, when you work hard and then somebody takes you um, in confidence, mm. they think you must be the son. Mm. You see, like, uh, um, Deputy President Gachagua, mm. Lee Kenyanjui, mm. myself, you know, when you work hard, you know, people say, no. Yeah, you must people be the say son. Lee Kenyanjui is more his son, yes, you yes, are his son, Gachagua, is his son. the Deputy President is his son. If, when We've we even put photos like next to, to his. and Yeah, you also look like many people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you go to Taita, uh -huh. you look like a Taita. There might be someone there that yes, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can look like anybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fast forward to current. You've talked about politics back in the days of Jeremy Anyaga. Politics now, mm. in terms of Mbere and Embu politics, let me just know your views on that. You mm -hmm. know, so, mm. uh, 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 governorship, uh, there was a plan, Wambora, uh, Leni Kivuti. Lots of court battles, impeachments, mm. uh, came back this other time and uh, Lenny again, Azimio, UDA and eventually. Do you think now in terms of numbers, because as you correctly said, Embu has more numbers, mm -hmm. Mbere has less numbers. Mm. Is there going to be a time when probably this governorship is going to move again? Because as you said, people need to be happy. Uh... It's very, very difficult mm. because ethnic bigotry mm. is an entrenched. Mm. Like the better people, mm -hmm. you are not united. Mm -hmm. You haven't got the Mururi clan mm -hmm. who purport are uh, purportedly the real owners of the land mm -hmm. because the Damata mm -hmm. people are deemed to be Maasai. Mm -hmm. Because Dramata is a corruption of Erodamat. Mm -hmm. The better people are, are not united. I know they are. Yeah. yeah. Right. They, yeah. Yeah. Muturi, Justin Muturi is a Dramata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah and Yaga people are, are Mururi. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, first of all, you have to sort out your problems in. Uh, in Bere. In Bere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you do not consider the Dramata as the original. <laughs> Owners of the land, mm. yeah. The Murude say they are the original owners of the land. These people, are yeah, yeah, because they consider them to be of a Maasai ancestry. Right. Yeah. Damata is Erudamat. Right. You know, when you talk about that uh, divide, you quickly swung me into what is happening now in uh, uh, Palestine and and, mm. and Israel. Mm. Uh, what are you thinking about? Uh, We're gonna take a short break. On that note, <laughs> it's about time. TCTV One USA. What can you tell us about Julie Ward? It's also very complex. Uh, there are some people who are implicated. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, the foreign minister. Uh, Dr. Robert Ouko. Yes. What happened to him? People have been curious. People would like to know. What, what, what do you know and what can you tell us? So you believe um, Israel will triumph? Or what, what's... Um, 